I'd like to look at two lines from Johann Sebastian Bach's Invention number 6 in E major. These are in the first few bars of the piece. The first one here opens the piece. I thought it'd be a nice way to look at fingering ideas in the sense of having themes of fingering ideas, ways the hand's working. It's also just a nice line that outlines some chords. So we're going to take a look at that here. I'm starting with E and E, 7 and 12. First finger, little finger, stretch. I'm doing this in part to keep the continuity of the lines on the same strings, fifth and first strings, so they can be long. I figured the hardest thing on guitar is to play things long. It's easy enough to to play things short, but to try to sustain things I think is more difficult and worth the challenge, worth the time. So 12 and, sorry, 7 and 12. If you wanted, you could play this sixth string bass on the 12th fret and be in one position. I'm not overly fond of the tubbiness of bass strings when they get up in this range. So I keep it on the fifth string. It's a little tighter, a little less thuddy than that sixth string. So 7 and 12, E and E, F sharp and D sharp, which is kind of a kind of a B7 kind of a sound. So these two notes mean B7 or D sharp diminished, I suppose. So this is a, a wide one, telescoping in. And I'm going to suggest another wide one that's going to telescope in for the continuation of the line. G sharp and D, 11 and 15. A and C sharp, 12 and, 12, 12 and 14. wide one. B and B octaves here. 9 and 12 with first and little finger and then I'm going to use middle two fingers, third and second fingers, 11 and 10, C sharp and A. Then D sharp and G sharp here. They're getting close. 8 and 9 on the 3rd and 2nd string with 1st 2 fingers or maybe 1st and 3rd fingers so we can bring the E in underneath at the ninth fret. Now from where we are he then makes the upper voice the, f the first entrance in the stagger. Here we had lower voice, upper voice, but now we're going to get upper voice. Some interesting fingering ideas here if you want. So little finger, first finger, 7 and 9, E and E. suppose we could use one and three. I really like the feeling of one and four when they're going to spread out, because if I wanted to maintain that E note, if I had third finger there, I'm already splayed a little bit. So nine, seven, first and little, second and first. This is the seventh and sixth fret, F sharp and D sharp. We're just doing the, the line, this in reverse, so all the voices are swapped places. So now we have a descending bass 
instead of a, an ascending bass. So, sadly, we can't get down to this, which is why George Van Epps has the seven string guitar. So for George, playing this sound would be, his seventh strength would be right here on G sharp at the 11th fret of the seventh string tuned to A. So D sharp and F sharp, six and seven. I like this, middle two fingers, nine and 10. G sharp and D, that E7 kind of chord again. Then I'm using little finger and first finger, nine and 10. Sounds like uh, part of Love of My Life by Queen. Seven and seven with a bar, or let's see. I, I'm fine with a bar. Seven and seven, B and B. And now A and C sharp are stretch again. Five and nine. So it's a kind of A chord. And now G sharp, D sharp. 11 11 I'm using second finger and fourth finger because we're going to split to F sharp and E 9 and 12 and to finish it off here's E and F sharp then 12 and 14 beyond the scope here. I hope this has given you something interesting to listen to, look at. I hope you have your guitar on and you're trying it while we go together here looking at this line from Johann Sebastian Bach. It's, I will put a link in the description. It's invention number six in E major. And as always, I do wish you a very good day.